Hey guys, Gordon the Bellion here. Today we're going to talk about, well, when a client returns something to you and it's damaged. Oh, a shisha burn on your table, on your plastic table. A cigarette burn on your spandex cocktail cover. A leg of a tent broken. There's many ways event rental items can be damaged and it is you know, it's not that common, but it does happen if you're a steady business. It's going to happen just naturally. First of all, it's really good to have quality items. If you have quality items, they will be damaged less and less often. You know, if you're renting out really bad things, then, uh, you know, they're not going to last as, as long. And if your items last really long, you know, they're bringing in those sales more and more. They have a higher resale value, etc. And b before we really delve into this topic, I really want to say that, uh, you know, we've had this location here for, in, at the time of making this video, for literally less than a year. It's almost a year now. Um, but yeah, it's just under a year. I think it's like 11 months or so. I got to calculate it. I think April is when we moved in. It's March now. It's March 1st, I think. So there's still a lot of things that uh, I need to improve on in this department. But certainly from day one to day 300 to now, I, I've vastly, vastly improved. Pretty much day one, I did nothing. Now, the damage information, you know, it's in our contract, which people sign when they come pick up our items or when we drop items off, they also sign. It's all there, you know, and, and the language is very clear, very legal, but that's, that's not enough. Um, we also have, and I've seen this with lots of rental companies, and I do suggest this if you, if you have one, have some sort of damage protection option. They pay an extra five or 10% for the items that they rent, but they're protected to some extent for the damages, if any, incur. Some clients, um, you know, if something gets damaged, they're nice about it, right? They're, they say, um, oh, this tent broke, I'm gonna pay for it. And that's awesome. Sometimes it's a bit tricky then getting their funds if they've already returned and left. But I mean, those are the best, that, those are awesome clients and I highly appreciate that from, from those clients. And every rental company just loves that. But uh, a lot of the time, I don't know if it's the most of the time yet, I haven't quantified it quite well. But a lot of times people say, oh, that was already there. That damage was already there. And, you know, what are you going to do with that? So what you really have to do is when they're taking their items, you have to be like, make sure you're, you're happy with these items. Make sure you don't see any damages. Because if, if, you know, if something's damaged here, we're going to charge you for that. And sort of go through that process with the clients, maybe when you're loading their vehicle, when you're dropping things off. So if it's a tent, talk to them, hey, um, looks good. I just made sure there's no damages. Um, you know, when you're renting a vehicle, you sort of do a walk around. Same thing. Do a little really quick walk around um, and let them know, you know, if, if it's damaged, this is, a, this is the cost. This is, uh, you know, just let them know, talk to them. Because then, and then they sign off. Because then when they return the items, you know, they were sort of aware of that exchange and they're much more likely to sort of be like, okay, yeah, no, makes sense. Uh, what, what is my cost to you for the damages incurred? So that, that's, you know, that's, that's it. That's the simplest way to sort of protect yourself against damages. Put it a, put it in your contract. Uh, be make sure they're aware of that. That's in the contract. Talk to them. You know, have some sort of short, quick process. It doesn't have to be short, quick, but obviously you want to make things convenient for your for your customers. 
Um, but yeah, have some sort of process where sort of they're aware of that exchange and see offer them like a damage protection uh, option. Uh, you know, if they just want, don't want to deal with that, if they want to be sort of safe and, uh, you know, um, th those are my sort of three tips. Um, and certainly, uh, yeah, it's not super, it's not super, super common, but it will happen if you have an event rental business and those things will add up. Now, sometimes when you're dealing with a client that is, you know, you, you, you like them, you use them all the time or they use you all the time. You know, sometimes maybe you want to let the situation slide. They don't have damage protection, but um, you know, something comes damaged. They don't realize that they don't say anything. You know, your relationship is very strong. The damage is 20 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, but you're making thousands off the, that relationships per, per year. Sometimes, you know, you might want to let that, you might want to let that slide. Let me know what you thought, think about that thought. Because, you know, you, the, it, the smoother the rental, the happier that client will be. Anyways, before I end this video, I want to do a shout out to another YouTuber. He has absolutely fantastic um, uh, videos about the rental industry. He has way more experience. Guys, I've been doing this for a year, maybe a bit more when you take into account the home, maybe two years because there was a home-based portion of, uh, of this, but very, very little compared to this guy. He's been doing it for many more years and therefore his experience, I mean, brings value. The value is brought, you can find lots of value in his videos. So I highly suggest you check him out. Um, the tent guy and other entrepreneur stuff. I will link it in the description of this video. Check him out. He's fantastic. Otherwise, take it easy. Let's get some business done. See you later.